This is Signal Sound Studio Tutorials. My name is Jesper, and today we're gonna make a beat with just one group that I found in Machine Factory Library. On the groups, I choose Machine, uh, and I found Deep London. So the only thing I did was I didn't like the snap that was on here. I wanted a clap. So under Browse. I'm going to hit samples, here we go, and under samples I'm, I found um, machine factory library and under there there's a clap 808 one version 1 and I choose that. So you can hear, the only thing I don't like about the clap is that you see it's a one shot so if we hit samples and go to edit you can see if I hit this just once it's gonna follow through until the sample is finished so when you're at the main page you can see I'm at page one to six and I want it to be on page two because then I can choose instead of one shot I can choose ADSR attack, decay, sustain and release. So now I can choose how long the sample. You can hear there's no tail. If I crank it all the way up to 12.3 seconds and because it's 12.3 seconds it's because the sample then it will keep on playing. So I want this about 300 okay so the next thing is that there's two kicks and I want these two to be triggered at the same time so if you hit pad mode I can link these two together so right now you can see link on the group it says none I want this to be one the next one I want this to be one as well. So you can see now they're grouped together. Okay. So if I go to pad uh, pattern, you can see there's nothing here. So if you just hit record and record off again, there's a pattern now and one bar that's a one bar loop. So I can change the to two bar loops and I just want to make a 4x4 four four kick so going to step mode so if I hit play you can see the box well it's on follow but if it's not you can see it's not following the box in with the line so hit follow and it will follow it the next thing is you can see it's pressure sensitive and I don't want it to be that. So go to step mode and hit fixed velocity and under fixed velocity go to maximum on 127. So now it's gonna be, you can see the box, I can move that with this one. Hit fixed velocity again because I want to control the fixed velocity here, or the velocity, so it's velocity sensitive. Um, so right now we got got a four by four kick, and again you can see they're linked together. And let's take this one. Hold down, no repeat. And I'm just, you can see my finger is like, when I'm pressing harder. Okay. <coughs> and I can choose the speed. Okay. If I hit shift and record, there's gonna be a pre-count of four before it starts recording. Repeat. 
repeat off again. So I think this snap is very loud, so hit sound. You can do it diff different kind of way. You can, if you're not pressing that hard, or you can turn this down. Or you can press mix and now you have, you can see, go to sound. And you can see I can change this with this knob or this knob. Okay. This was the first pattern I'm going to do. So if I hit pattern, you can see the duplicate button is lit up as well. And if I hit duplicate and hit the pa first pad, is our first pattern. So if it starts to blink, I can choose which pad I want to be copied to. So just hit the next one. And now you can see it's the same thing on that one. Just want to clap. So again. This one I can change the box. So again, duplicate this to the next one. And again, this is the same, so the sample will fall through, and I just want this, now I'm, I'm on second page, I want this ADSR. this to up here and I'm gonna duplicate three times okay so the first one I want this one in so pattern next one I want this one in Last one, the last vocal. So now I've created how much? Seven.
different pads. So we can start from the beginning. Choose the next one. The next one. And the next one. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button and please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.